The railway receives so many applications, in fact, that they have to hold examinations almost monthly at centres across the city. It's a high security operation with an armed escort by the railway's own police force. These are the uh, boxes which, which contain question papers. These will go into the concerned uh, examination centers. All the boxes are sealed and they'll be escorted by a staff. Whether you're a budding driver, a clerk or a signalman, the odds of success are about 60 to 1. At exam centres around the city, 18,000 hopefuls are cramming up to the last minute. At stake are 300 vacancies for Group D clerical jobs. <coughs> Many of the candidates are graduates and the exams are tough in both English and Hindi. But the rewards are guaranteed. A job with the railways is an attractive proposition because if you are successful, it's a job for life. Free medical care, a pension, housing, security for you and your family in this life, maybe beyond. In a city where there's a chronic shortage of housing and where seven million people live in slums, finding a home is difficult. But for railway employees, housing comes with the job. They're all allocated accommodation in one of the railway's many colonies. And Badwar Park is the best railway address in town. It's home to Mumbai's top 250 railway officers and their families. In a city where real estate prices are as high as New York or London, to live in a three-bedroom apartment in the center of town is beyond the means of all but the very rich. I think the cost of our flats is uh, the market value of that, I'm telling you, more than 30 million or so. In terms of rupees, I'm telling you more than 30 million to 40 million. We just cannot imagine of living in such a place. But officers of the railway live here with their families for just a nominal rent. The railway family of Badwa Park is conservative and traditional. Its clubs and societies reflect a colonial past, but its confidence and success are very much of today. I declare this meet open for participation tomorrow. Badwa Park is an exclusive colony for the railway's top managers, and it's a one-off. You may be there for four years, maybe 40. It depends on your next posting. But for the majority of railway employees, colonies provide a simple but comfortable home. Such care makes for a stable and traditional family environment, and most importantly, a contented workforce. This is my railway colony, and we are at the prime location of Bombay. 
that is Santa Cruz East. We are giving rent, a nominal rent. Free facilities, free maintenance, nothing to be bothered about. It is very near to airport, very near to station, obviously. Near to station means we are very much in a helping hand of railways to go by railway for the railways, to the railways. The concept of the railway colony as an essential ingredient for a happy and efficient workforce was a British import. Sixty years after they left, it's still working well. There hasn't been a strike on the railways since 1972. The British construction of the railways revolutionized the economy of the country and transformed Mumbai into the commercial capital of the Arabian Sea. Victoria Terminus was positioned to face the port, a beacon of empire and international trade. It was a statement of imperial power and success. Built by the Great India Peninsula Railway in 1888 to house its headquarters, Victoria Terminus was to the British Empire what the Taj Mahal was to the Mughals. It's over a hundred years since VT was built. Now it's called Chhatravati Shivaji Terminus and it's become a World Heritage Site. The British brought the railways to India and now it's the railways that bring many of them back. At VT station, a group of train enthusiasts are making a nostalgic journey into the world of steam. If you want to have a look, see where you're sitting. John and Les, Chris and Alex, and their leader, Peter, an accountant from Doncaster, have all come here to live the train spotter's dream. There's a travelling ticket inspector right down the bottom there where I want to take a picture. If anybody wants to wander down and have a look at the loco, by all means do. Um, should the train go while you're down there, just get in at the nearest doorway and amble back here at the first stop. Do we like trains? <laughs> you know, it's. I've always had a, 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 a big interest, but it's. Ne I've never quite found time to follow up as much as I would like. We're going to do this line to Mathuran, which has a locomotive which came originally from the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway. So we want to see that, photograph it, travel behind it. Unfortunately, the line has been closed up to Mathuran due to um, a landslide. We can go part way only. This is a very unhandy man. It all stems from when I was a child and there was a railway at the bottom of the garden, I think, and I haven't recovered from that yet. I'm a signal engineer. Uh, I can bore for Britain on signals. <laughs> when the heat of the plains became too hot for the Raj, they headed for the hills, where a cooler climate, an airy bungalow, and a cold beer could ease the burden of empire. 